In this video, we're going to look at creating a simple lathe part. Now, let's say that we're going to create like a something similar to a pulley. Very simple part, just a tur turning and a facing operation. Now, the first thing to do is to set the software to turning mode. This will change the coordinate system to be that of a lathe. So we will go to modules, then turning mode. And you'll see that the coordinate system now shows X and Z as our horizontal and vertical axes. Now, if you, depending on whether or not if you want to draw in diameter mode or radius mode, you can change that setting as well. You can come to Preferences, Settings Part, and then Units. And you get an option to switch to diameter mode, as well as you can turn on and off your lathe coordinates here. Now in this video we'll go ahead and leave the set to radius mode so we'll draw full size. The diameter mode affects the drawing sizes and changes them so that you input diameter coordinates instead of full size one to one drawing. We'll go ahead and choose OK. Now let's get started. We'll use a rectangle for the basic shape so we'll go to other then rectangle. Now everything that you draw on most lathes, you'll be drawing on this upper left-hand quadrant. Now, if your machine faces the other way, you may want to draw your parts on the right-hand side. But most lathes will be drawn in the upper right-hand, left-hand quadrant. And the only thing that we have to worry about for lathe drawings is just the radius of the part, or just drawing out one half of it. Now, let's say that this is going to be, its length in Z is going to be 3 inches. Its width in X is going to be 12. We'll place this origin based off the right, and we'll put right at zero where the face will be, and we'll move it back in Z, let's say minus 0.1, or the amount that we want to face off the material from where we zero the part. We'll go ahead and choose OK. And we'll click our View All button, and just zoom out a little. And we can see our rectangle here. Let's say in here we have a small groove. We'll go ahead and draw that in. We'll go to Arc snap, and we'll place a three-quarter of an inch radius, snap to the center of this line. And we'll go to Utilities, Trim, Quick Trim, and just trim this out. So there's our basic shape. Now again, we only need to deal with one half of this part, so we'll come here to Line Join. I'm just going to join a line across this halfway, and then trim the part out. And that's all we need drawn to start to machine this part. 